AMJ Ministries goes to Detroit, Michigan for the 19th pre-pastoral anniversary service honoring Pastor Ricky A. Cranford at the Community Church of Christ. Watch how God uses his prophet in the 19th year to display God's perfect order. Be blessed. See now that I myself am he. There is no God besides me. I put to death and I bring to life. I have wounded and I will heal. And no one can deliver out of my hand. But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. Now, this go all the way up. It goes up today. But I need you to take it off. Oh, y'all don't like me. Come on, praise him. Help the uh, nurse help her. Come on, praise him. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives to the death. Okay, so I am Don McCaskill. I've been with the church for three years under Pastor Cranford. Um, Andre Charlie is my mentor. Pastor Cranford is my mentor. Um, and I've, I've been a faithful member for three years and enjoying it. Three years and counting. He speaks very, uh, he, he articulates very well. That's that's first off, I gotta mention that. Um, he, uh, he talked about the power of the altar and uh, when, he, when he speaks, I mean, I could, I could feel the strength and the energy coming from coming from his from him and, and as, as he listens to the Lord and, and, and delivers it to us you know so I didn't feel like he was trying to you know overdo it or put on a show or anything like that he just genuinely was speaking from his heart and speaking from the Lord and that's what I appreciated the most he's very strong in what he's saying um, I can tell that it's either coming from his heart or coming from the Lord and so that's why I need to and, and he makes it very clear. It was it was pretty accurate. Now, uh, I'm, the police thing you mentioned did give me a little nervous because you know I, I've never I've never had any uh, real terrible run-ins with the police or any real serious legal matters uh, in my life. Um, um, 
but I, I could I could feel where he was coming from, and uh, when he you know mentioned things about my daughter and uh, and some of the other things, it was so much. I'm still I'm really still trying to. Uh, trying to let it uh, resonate, marinate in me and, and trying to, you know, trying to get it all together in my mind. But there, yes, a lot of what he said was, was very accurate, almost to the T. Oh, he mentioned my two-year plan, which was which was very interesting. Um, and so uh, I'm, I'm excited to, to see it come and pass. As long as I stay on my path and stay faithful to the Lord, I'm sure the words will be true. My name is Shelly Pearson, and I am a member of the Community Church of Christ with Pastor Ricky. Cranford is my pastor. On tonight, I enjoyed the awesome prophetic word of from Prophet um, Antoine Jasmine. Flowed in the spirit and prophesied to me, and the word was on point, actually. And I enjoy him, and I can't wait till he come back. Oh, he has spoke about my daughter. Some legal matters we have already discussed that earlier this part of the week. So he was accurate, and he didn't know because I hadn't told him. He's an awesome man of God because I don't receive prophecy from everybody. Everybody's prophecy is not accurate and his was accurate, so he all right with me. Yes, I'm Mother Lucille Shelton, and the Community Church of Christ is my church home. Pastor R.A. Cranford is my pastor, and we're here tonight for his pre-anniversary service. And while I was in service tonight, the prophet called me out. He said that God was going to heal my back. And all day long and all through the night, yesterday I was suffering with pain from the top of my neck down to the lower back. And I thank God he described it just like it was. And he called me out, he told me to come on up. And as I stood there, the pain left my back. And I thank God for that. I have been healed. My back is healed. I'm not in any pain as we speak right now. The pain is gone. And I was able to do some moves that I wasn't able to do. Um, you know, so my back is healed. I have no pain. He's a powerful young man of God. The word that he preached tonight, I found myself in the word and many things that he spoke. Um, I had heard them before, so it was just a confirmation of the yokes that's on my family, how they're going to be broken, and the warfare that has been on my family from being saved, according to the Word of God. So that's how I would describe him, a, a true prophet, a seer in the Spirit. Good afternoon. My name is Elder Jonathan Mead. I'm here at Community Church of Christ, where my pastor is Pastor Ricky Antoine Cranford. I had the great experience of experiencing the ministry of Prophet Jasmine. Amen, Prophet Jasmine. He did a wonderful job on this evening. Uh, definitely gave a sound word, spoken to the lives of the people. That was definitely also clear to not have even known the people. So I, I encourage you to, uh, if you have not experienced his ministry, definitely go out and uh, seek and see what the Lord has for you through this man of God. So Prophet Jasmine um, had the opportunity, well, I had the opportunity to receive it, receiving a uh, prophetic word from uh, Prophet Jasmine, and um, it was definitely a on-time on word. Uh, definitely, he touched with regard to uh, me having a spirit of wealth, and, and that with regard to that of property. I did share with the prophet that I had just bought a home, um, but also in the midst of that, I was also struggling with regard to what, I, what efforts I should make with regard to additional income, and he spoke that of, real, um, of realty, real, being a realtor and things of that nature, and that's definitely some uh, path that I have been considering that I will definitely be moving forward with to see what the Lord has for me in store, even in those efforts, along with some other things, but uh, just continue to pray for me in, those, in the efforts of that, the word, that the word has already been um, spoken over my life. If I had one word to describe Prophet Jasmine's ministry and or, and or anointing, I would definitely use the word unique. Um, it's interesting how he's very strategic in the spirit as well as the natural with regard to the delivery of the word and um, strategic with regard to the spirit realm where he's uh, very, very subtle but out of nowhere. It's, it's amazing how the anointing just kind of hits your soul and hits your, uh, hits your spirit and really kind of confirms that, that the Lord has already been dealing with you on. So unique would be the word that I would use. Hello, my name is Erica Bethany. Um, 
I am affiliated with the church through Jonathan Me. He invited me through Facebook, and so my cousin and I came down to uh, witness this spectacular man of God deliver a prophetic word that I actually needed, which was incredible. The prophetic word that he gave to me was that I have an oil on me, and I have the spirit of Esther upon me which was very very interesting when he said that because my spirit has been in disarray for two days and um, as I was telling my cousin I said Lord I, something is going on I need to lay on the altar didn't know why I even text my first lady and it's like, I, I need to get to the altar. And lo and behold, Jonathan Mead goes up there and tags me on Facebook. And then when I get here, his sermon is about the power of the altar. So in my spirit, I knew that I was supposed to be here. So that was freaking amazing. Excuse my French, but it was amazing. Prophet Jasmine illuminates. He illuminates your spirit. When he went up there and he prophesied on me, he went up there and he said, you young lady, he said, you are a powerful woman of God. I know that within myself because I know the source. Jesus is a conduit, but I want the source. So when he said, I resonated with her spirit, I knew he was true in what he was saying because my spirit recognized his before he even said anything. His illuminating prophetic word, it gave me such energy and fire. And it really revived me because my spirit was at all time low. So I, I, I would have to say he illuminates. He brightens up that spirit, he revives it. So, he's a real deal, real deal.